Hi guys, welcome back. So today I've got another quick tutorial for you. We're going to be creating this um, kind of scroll progress indicator. You can see when I scroll down the page, we get the uh, the bar fill to the correct percentage, as well as the number in percentage form as well. I'll also be showing you how to uh, make this uh, indicator just appear on the um, just in a fixed position on the uh, right hand side of the screen. Okay, so at the moment it's moving with the mouse, but that could probably be potentially annoying for some users. So. It's just down to personal, personal taste, really. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and let's get going. Thanks. Okay, guys, so to begin, um, I've got the three usual files, an index.html file, a style.css, and an app.js. Um, I've already pre-made the uh, HTML just to save time for this tutorial. So you'll see in the body, I have four sections here, each containing text with section one, second section two, section three, and so on, okay? Underneath our sections, we have this um, parent div called a progress section, and it is going to house the uh, actual progress bar wrap div, which contains the uh, inner progress bar div, and then it also contains just this div of a progress num class, okay, and that's just going to um, show the uh, percentage scrolled in number format. So that's it for our HTML. We're just linking to our um, uh, app.js file using the script source tag at the bottom of the body. And then in our link section, in our head section, we have a link to our style.css. And I've also just got two link tags because we're using Google Fonts just to have this uh, electrolyzed font with Google Fonts, okay? Um, so if we come into our style.css next, let's just open this uh, with our live server actually just so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so there's our uh, four sections there. So in our style.css, let's just select our global settings. So I'll say margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, border box. And then I'm also just going to apply that font family as well. And here I'll just say um, electrolyze like so. And then we'll just say sans serif as a fallback. Okay, you can see our font's been applied and we've uh, that's made us lose our default margins and paddings, okay? So now come underneath this, we'll select the body. I'm just going to give the body a height of 4,000 pixels just so we can scroll down the page. And then I'm also just going to say, um, over scroll behavior Y. Okay, and I'm just going to set this to none. And you'll notice while we're doing this at the moment, when we scroll, we get that kind of bounce effect when we reach the top of the page. I don't want to have that effect, so I'm just going to set that to none. So you see when I've saved that, we no longer get that bounce occur. Okay, now underneath this, I'm just going to say a background color. And we'll just set that to dark gray. And then also I'm just going to say color of white for our text. And there you go. So now underneath the body, let's next select our progress section. So I'll we'll say dot progress section. And here I'm just going to say position fixed. Okay, and then we'll say right of 50 pixels. Okay, because I want this uh, displayed 50 pixels from the right of the screen. And then top, we'll just say 40% like so. And then I'm going to give this a width. Um, we'll say a width of 60 pixels and then I'm going to give this a height of 20% of the screen okay so 20% and then we're going to display this is in flexbox and then we're going to justify the content a space between just to space out the uh, the inner so obviously if, with this progress section we have just the two elements the inner elements so we have this progress bar wrap and the progress num so I want to space them out evenly using this space between justify content setting. And then also I'm just going to apply it, just say will change. And here I'm just going to add transform. Like so. And what, we, what this does, this just optimizes the browser to form transformations on this progress section because um, we're going to be moving it around when we move our mouse as well. Okay, um, and then I just want to add a transition. So this is the um, animation settings, say uh, 0 0.3 seconds for the time. 
and we'll just say ease out as well just to get that easing kind of animation okay so that's it for our progress section now underneath this i'm just going to select the um, progress bar wrap so dot progress hyphen bar hyphen wrap like so and here i'm just going to say position relative um, also a width of five pixels and then we'll say border one pixel solid black like so okay so you can see there's our, uh, our progress bar wrap there and then we'll also just say um, underneath that we could give us a border radius next say border radius of um, we'll say 10 pixels just to make it nice and rounded at the top and bottom and then I'm going to say overflow hidden because we don't want we basically the inner bar of this we don't want it to overflow because it just looks doesn't look very nice when we uh, don't hide it and then I'm just going to say background color and I'm going to use RGB here and we're going to go for a dark gray so I'll say 70 70 70 okay so you can see there's our kind of progress bar wrap now underneath that next thing I'm going to do is set the actual progress bar okay progress bar and that is going to have a height I know a position at absolute sorry absolute like so and then underneath that we'll say bottom zero okay we'll start this off at bottom of zero and then we're going to say width of 100 percent and then we'll give this a height of zero for zero uh, percent and we're going to be changing this with javascript as we scroll the page and then we'll also just say a background color and we're going to apply a lighter gray here so rgb again and here we'll just say 189 189 comma 189 it gives that nice light gray okay that's it for our progress bar next thing we'll adjust is the section so the section will just say height of 1000 pixels okay and then we also want to say a width 100 percent and then here we'll say display flex because we want to center this this section one the section texts to our sections okay so we'll just say um, justify content center and then we'll also do an align items to center them vertically so align items center as well okay and then I also just want to adjust the font size to free rem okay so there's our sections and now the final thing I want to do here with our CSS is remove the scroll bar because there's no point really having a scroll bar if we're going to have this kind of custom uh, progress indicator okay so let's do that. I'm just going to say um, body, uh, two colons, webkit, scroll bar. And here I'm just going to say display none, like so. And there we've lost our scroll bar, okay? So now you might want to look for, if you're using, say, for example, Edge or um, uh, Internet Explorer, I these Microsoft browsers, there might be different settings, so I'll look that up online, but this works for the time being. Okay, so next we want to do here is come to our app.js file, okay? And then in here, we're going to just get our initial selectors. So to do that, we'll just say let uh, progress section, and that's going to equal uh, document dot query selector. And here we'll just say dot progress hyphen section like so underneath that we're going to say let progress bar it's going to equal document dot query selector and here we'll just say dot progress hyphen bar and then underneath this we'll say let progress num equal document dot query selector lowercase And that will just be dot progress hyphen num. Okay, so that's it for our selectors. So now underneath this, next thing I want to do is just create uh, two x and y variables. 
not going to be using them initially, but we will when we uh, adjust transform, uh, pro add transformations to this progress section to move with our mouse. Um, and then that's it for now. So what I want to do here is I'm just going to create two functions. First one I'm going to do is uh, say function get scroll percentage. Okay, and what this does is it's just going to return a value. So say return. And we're going, the equations get the scroll percentage is going to say window dot scroll wire. Okay, and then we're going to divide this by document dot body dot scroll height. Okay, and then we're going to from this subtract the window dot inner height. Okay, inner height and then coming out of the brackets we just times this by 100 okay so it's quite a fair it's a fairly long equation there but what we can do here is if i just say um let's just create another function now actually we'll just say function update progress bar above that update progress bar and here we can just say console.log so if we console.log um get scroll percentage and then if we just request animation frame and then update progress bar and then if I come down to the bottom say update progress bar like so we should now get the um, get scroll percentage logged to the console okay so if we do dev tools here go to our console okay and what we need to do why is that not working Hmm. Okay, so I was in the error section. So you can see when we go to the bottom, we're at 100%. At the top, we'll be at 0%. And obviously, there's a fair amount of uh, decimal places. So we're going to reduce that as well to make this more performant, this function. Okay, so if we come, we'll just get rid of that console log for now. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say progress bar. Uh, dot style dot height and that's going to equal um, and we're going to do back ticks here and I'm just going to say um, get scroll percentage and here we'll just say percent okay so now if we scroll down you can see our progress bar updates okay and it fills up to depend on where we are where we scrolled on the screen so next one I want to do here um, underneath that is we're going to just update the number as well. So I'm just going to say progress num dot inner text and that's going to equal do back ticks again, template literal, do that add that function, and after that we just add the percent sign. Now you'll notice, as I said before, we get a lot of decimal points there, so we want to kind of reduce that just to well, we don't really want any decimal places, to be honest. So to fix this, I'm just going to say, come in here and we're going to use the math uh, library and we're just going to say math.seal. Okay, this will round the percentage, uh, the, the float returned up to the next whole number. And then that should work now. So now you can see, yeah, we just get the, um, the actual whole number. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, we can see that's all working now. Uh, yeah, also working fine. So now I just wanna uh, make a, make this move with the mouse, okay? So some people might wanna add this effect where it moves with the mouse, so let's just do that now. Um, in order to do that, I'm just going to say, we'll come into our update progress bar function. And here I'm just going to say progress section dot style um, dot transform equals and here I'm just going to say translate in back ticks and here we do a template literal and we'll say x pixels comma and then we do another back uh, template literal y pixels okay now we haven't set x at the time for the time being okay so what we need to do here is say 
uh, we need to add an event listener to our window. Okay, so we say window dot add event listener. Listen up for a mouse move, and here we're just going to say pass in the event, and here we just say x equals e dot client x, and y equals e dot client y, like so. And now you can see, well, it's a bit far away at the moment, so we just need to make some adjustments to our CSS, okay? So if you come back to our CSS, um, come to the progress section, and we want to change this to left, okay? So left, and I'm just going to set it to 10 pixels for now. And then we'll say top, and I want to just, uh, just say minus 10 pixels. That should bring it closer to our mouse. Okay, I actually want to move that to the right a bit more, so we'll say left, just give it 20 pixels. Okay, so there you go. Now our now our scroll, uh, scroll bar or progress indicator is moving with our mouse on the screen, okay? So that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this tutorial up there. Just a quick demo on how to create this kind of a scroll progress indicator. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.